suspended Bucor official Frederick Santos was shot dead by unknown assailants in Montilupa City yesterday, Charles. He was among the officials linked to the controversial release of almost 12,000 heinous crime convicts under the Good Conduct and Time Allowance or GCTA law. Faith Del Mundo has the rest of the story. Suspended Bureau of Corrections Legal Division Chief Frederick Anthony Santos failed to pick up his daughter on Wednesday. He was gunned down in front of her school in Muntinlupa City at around noon. Santos was dead on the spot. The school is just 100 meters away from the gate of the Belibid prison. He was about to fetch his daughter at the Montessori school nung binaril siya ng mga suspect sa kasada. As of now, we have some discussions and meeting with the chief of police and the district director to determine kung ano po yung initial uh, result ng investigations nila. Hindi po clear no? kung isa o dalawa ba. May nakarecover na empty shells, six of it at saka isang slugs ng 45 caliber pistol. Police failed to obtain any CCTV footage near the school. The incident wasn't also recorded by the vehicle's dashcam. They have recovered the CCTV at tinitingnan nila kung may maitulong po yun. Sa ngayon, we are still uh, have no, no person of interest regarding the incident. And I think uh, ang chief of police natin, based on his report, he had coordinated with the BUCOR and uh, we are, would like this to, to ask the BUCOR for a joint investigation. Kasi sa ngayon, uh, blank call pa. Sa ngayon, naghihintay din kami ng tulong ng mga witness kung makapagbigay uh, ng descriptions at saka ng, ng, ng uh, idea kung sino yung mga suspect. Police are hoping to find clues from one CCTV footage showing a motorcycle right beside Santos' car in Barangay Poblacion. However, police are unsure if the riders had anything to do with the killing. They are also coordinating with Bucor in the investigation. We have coordinated with Bucor for the security of the family na nakatira doon sa Bucor compound. Authorities are still investigating the motive behind the incident and the identity of the suspects. Santos was among the 27 Bucor officials who were suspended by the Ombudsman for the connection in the release of almost 2,000 heinous crime convicts under the Good Conduct Time Allowance or GCTA law. He was supposed to return to his post next month. For News 5, Fate Del Mundo, we are One News.